TACLINK is a Windows-based program developed to simplify programming and communication with the new generation of AI Tech tachometers. It is necessary when using TACPAC without TACTROL Plus, since no front panel is available. In addition, several functions including database access, analog calibration, and data plotting are available through TACLINK only. Connect either TACTROL or TACPAC via the included USB cable to a PC or laptop. Once installed, double-clicking on its icon launches TACLINK. Open the pull-down menu program and select COM port. Select the appropriate port and click OK. In this case, it is USB. The current active port is indicated in the blue bar at the top of the dialog box. Available COM ports will vary by computer. However, the most common are USB, COM1, COM2, and so forth. Once connected, the green online status light and status bar at the bottom of the display indicate the tachometer is connected to the network. TACLINK displays input A, B, and equations simultaneously. Along the top edge of the graphic user interface are a series of tabs that enable access to all of the user configurable functions. Each tab corresponds to major menu selections available when accessing through the TACTROL front panel and is covered in basic training. Changing constants is even faster and simpler with TACLINK. We will again set up the Digital Output 1, this time using TACLINK. Click on the Digital Output tab. Tab to the Output pull-down menu and select Digital Output 1. Tab to the Source menu and select Input A. Tab to Latch Mode and select On. Tab to On Delay and change from 0 to 2.5. Tab to Off Delay and leave it 0. Tab to Output Switching and select Energize above. Move Cursor to Safe and set to 4000. Move to Alarm and set to 4500. Click on Main. Display will read, Changes have been made to system parameters. Save changes? Yes, no. Select Yes and enter. Changes are now complete. Regardless of where changes are made, a remote display, TACTROL, or TACLINK, all global system constants and changes are saved in the main tachometer instrument. Changes have not been made unless you are asked if you wish to save them and Yes is selected. All other user-defined constants are changed in the same manner. Detailed instructions for all functions are covered in the manual provided on this CD-ROM. Database Open and Database Save Database Open allows the user to retrieve a file and make it active on another tachometer network. Database Save and Database Open are not active under the main tab. Select any other tab to make them active. User-defined configuration constants are stored in the tachometer instrument. If there is a need to use the same setup on other networks or to back up the data, Database Save allows the user to save the configuration as it exists on TACLINK to a file on a PC. Files can even be emailed to remote locations. TACLINK comes preloaded with configurations for commonly used setups. Selecting one of the databases will reduce setup time and effort. Analog Output Calibration Analog output drives a precisely regulated current through devices such as recorders, meters, controllers, and other instruments operated by a current loop. Analog output is user-selectable in three ranges, 0 to 20 milliamps, 4 to 20 milliamps, and negative 20 to plus 20 milliamps. Each tachometer instrument comes calibrated from the factory. In the event the user wishes to check calibration or tailor it to a specific loop resistance, calibration can be accomplished through TACLINK. Detailed instructions are covered in the manual provided on this CD-ROM. Plotting. The TACLINK plotting tool enables the user to monitor and track the process over an extended period of time. Data is recorded in one-second intervals and can be presented in both graphical or spreadsheet format and can be saved for future analysis. Each source has a user-configurable low and high threshold. 
These thresholds can be the same as applied to one of the outputs or other significant values. Each input source also has a span number associated with it. Span is a running calculation when plotting is active of the difference between the maximum and minimum values for each input source. The result is SPC type information about the process being monitored. Here, input A is being plotted as the green trace, the low threshold is blue, and the high threshold is yellow. When speed increases beyond a threshold, the color of the plot turns red. When the signal returns back between the thresholds, it returns to green. Above the plot screen is a toolbar to help manipulate the view. Most are standard Windows icons. For example, Data Cursor allows the user to place a set of crosshairs over the plot. Move the finger pointer to the center of the crosshair. Hold down the left mouse button to move the center of the crosshair to a point of interest on the plot. The time and magnitude of the output will be displayed for that point. When log to file is checked during plotting, a spreadsheet is developed that contains critical data. It can be analyzed in its present form or imported into a program such as Excel to further manipulate the data. This sample data file is generated while plotting. The data can be retrieved simply by going to the location it was saved, as defined in the file path in Plotting Setup. Detailed instructions are covered in the manual provided on this CD-ROM.